Market and let's go to Parliament because Majority Leader Seche Mensah Bonsu says the NDC's opposition to the Electoral Commission's proposed constitutional instrument is built on falsehood and has no basis. The NDC and its caucus in Parliament say they are opposed to renew ECCI, which makes the Ghana card the sole identity document to register as a voter. Addressing journalists in Parliament, the Swami legislator argued that the NDC has always been opposed to every single improvement to Ghana's electoral system. My colleague Kweku Asante, who is a parliamentary correspondent, joins us via Zoom for more. Kweku, um, on what basis has the majority leader been saying this? So he says that the NDC minority have not been attacking the substance of the ECCI, but they've just been arguing on straw bases. So for instance, he says that the EC's proposal to make the Ghana card the sole identity document is because, by law, the EC is mandated to do so. The NIE Act that was actually passed under an NDC regime, the EC is allowed to be able to do that. And that, in particular, the Ghana card represents a more robust identity document. And that, although there are specific concerns that there, there, there are not enough people who have been registered onto the card, the finance minister, Ken Okoyata, has been in parliament. He has given some assurances that money will be released to the NIE to undertake more registration so that by the time the ECCI goes to parliament, by the time the EC undertakes some limited registration of a sort, more people would have been on the Ghana card for them to be able to register for, 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 to, to vote in, in, in any public election. So the majority's contention is that the NDC are simply opposing the, the CI for, for opposition's sake, and it's not because they have any specific argument against the CI. He says that not even the Speaker of Parliament or the minority mm. can stop the EC from laying this document in the House. And as far as he is concerned, when these consultations are concluded, the expectation is that the EC will go ahead to lay the document. Mm. What, what else is happening in Parliament, Kweku? So the floor itself, um, proceedings hasn't started yet, but there are a number of questions for certain ministers to come and answer. There are questions for the Minister for Interior. We know that there were some killings in Wa. The MP for Wa is asking where, what the update is, what exactly is happening with those killings, how many people have been arrested, and what is the state of prosecution. There are questions about the state of policing in the country. So we expect that some of these questions will be asked, and then the, the House may take an agenda, because yesterday, and these MPs have been complaining that it is time to campaign. It is time to campaign towards their primaries and their opponents are in the constituencies campaigning against them and they have to be in parliament. And so they want some early agendments every now and then for them to be able to go to the constituency to go and campaign. Kukwasante is our correspondent in parliament. Certainly when the House begins sitting, there will be more to share with you in our subsequent bulletins. But let's...